Hello, I'm Mr. Herger and I'm your Deputy Head of Year. Hi, I'm Miss Wills and I'm your Head of Year. Now, normally what would have happened is we would have come and visited you in primary school and so you would have met us all already, but unfortunately we weren't able to do that this year. Also, under normal situation, I would be meeting you all in the hall for an assembly, so you're probably very glad that you're getting it virtually instead. But we want to kind of set the tone for the year. And you've just seen a video, which some of you may have seen the advert before, but Mr Herger wants to share with you what that means to us as a year team. Um, I think that advert reflected us as a school. There's different groups of people in that video, isn't there? There's different races, different religions, uh, different sex and also different sexualities in there. Uh, much like a school, um, it can't be stopped. That sport wasn't stopped. It was put on hold, but it wasn't stopped. And it's come back in a slightly different way. So sport, there's no fans. And with a school, at the moment, you're going into a brand new school with a new structure and you are the brand new year sevens. And that's really exciting. But the video did bring some key kind of words and some key sentences. It talked about obstacles. Obstacles will happen when you're at Bill High School and obstacles have already happened. We had COVID, for example, but it's exciting to be able to overcome that obstacle and start again. Um, things will not always go our way, but at Bill High School, you will not be alone. There will be your friends, there will be your form tutors, there's even me as your Deputy Head of Year and Miss Wills as your Head of Year who will be able to help you through your time at Bill High School. Um, and you have a responsibility to make Bill High School a better place. So you should try and come into Bill High School and think, what can I do to make this school a better place? You might be able to make a new friend. You might be able to keep the place tidy. You might be able to uh, make a te teacher's day by bringing important information to class, uh, so on and so forth. Um, so what can you do in this year? Nothing can stop you. We can do this together. Thanks, sir. So one thing I want to talk about is also what defines you. Mr Herger said nothing can stop us. It doesn't matter even though we've had time out of school, nothing can stop us. And we need to think, well, we sometimes are the big barriers to stopping ourselves because we think I can't do that. I'm not good at this, I'm rubbish. But actually we need to think about the words we speak to each other because those are one of the things that can make each other feel good. So over the weekend, I was with my sister and my kids in Epping Forest playing on the rope swings. And then we were trying to get out and we got lost because I always get lost in the forest. And my sister said, we need to use the three words app. And I didn't know what it meant, but my 10 year old went, yeah, that's a good idea. So if you don't know about this app, it's genius. Somebody has divided the whole world into 57 trillion little grid, um, squares in a grid and each square has got three words for that location. So if you were climbing a mountain like I did in the summer holidays, so I climbed Ingleborough in the Yorkshire Dales with my kids, say that the mist had descended and we'd have got lost, we'd have had to ring for a mountain rescue. And they would have said, where are you? And I would have gone somewhere up Ingleborough in the Yorkshire Dales. That's no good to them. Instead, what happens is they would say, Go on three words app, tell us where you are, and there's three words to define where your location is. And then you tell them, and they send the helicopter to rescue them. However, you can have a bit of fun with this. At the weekend, we were in our house, and like your kitchen has different words to your bedroom. So I've been putting in the office here, or putting in the school reception, and it's quite good fun, because those three words can tell you where you are. But it made me think, well, what are the three words that can define us? For example, you could say to someone, I love you, and that makes you feel really good. But you can also say, I hate you, and that, those three words can really dictate what you think of yourself. You can say to someone, you are amazing, or you can say, you're rubbish. So I want you to think, well, what words do I use? Do they build somebody up or do they knock someone down? But also, what are the three words that you think about yourself? And maybe a little task now, once you've listened to us, is to think to yourself, what three words would I use to describe me? And share that with each other. It's a good way to get to know each other. So I would say, I am short, talkative and upbeat. Those are my three words. 
what three words would you use to describe yourself? Because I think if you set yourself those three positive words from the beginning, that will set you up for the rest of year seven. So we as a team, and Mr. Sidney Smith is filming us right now, so he's gonna come round as well. I'm gonna come and visit you in your tutor group, so maybe you can share with us what defines you. We want to wish you a really great start. We know it's not normal. We are here to help you. We hope you have a brilliant day. You make friends with somebody you didn't know before and that you really look forward to coming back next week. We'll be on the gate to say goodbye to you. So we're hoping for lots of positive reviews. And if there's anything you need, then please don't hesitate to ask your tutor or find one of us. All the best year seven and we'll see you very soon.